The add inferred function return type refactoring for TypeScript lets you quickly insert explicit return types for functions and methods. In this TypeScript file, for example, you can see that we have a few methods here that are currently using implicit return types. So we have these methods that are returning something, but they do not have a, an explicit type annotation that is telling us what is being returned. If we hover over one, such as get selected elements here, you can see that TypeScript is able to infer the return type in this case. So it's telling us that um, the inferred type here is iQuickPick item or an array of iQuickPick item. But we might want to go and add explicit return types in a few cases. One example might be if we were just wanting to make our code more explicit, we could also potentially catch errors. So for example here, if I go and I modify this, you can see that the return type is now changed. We might want to be able to catch errors like that. And then we might also want to be able to modify the return type in some way, such as extracting it or making the return type potentially nullable. And that's where this refactoring comes in. So rather than typing out the explicit return type here and, and saying uh, I quick pick item and having to type all that out, we can use this refactoring instead. So I'm just going to right click on the method name that I'm interested in. I'm going to go and select refactor from the menu here and then say infer function return type. And you can see that TypeScript has now gone and inserted the uh, explicit return type for what was being inferred before. And I can just trigger this on any of the methods here that I want to. Infer function return type again, and this one is going to be string or null. Now, again, there are a few benefits to adding these explicit types. It helps us document the code, and it can also help catch errors. So if I go and I change this to now return E um, instead of E.item, you can see it's producing an error in this case. I can also then go modify the return type. So I could say that, oh, we can also return undefined in this case. Or I could go and extract the return type. So I could go and select this, and I'll go trigger another refactoring here using control dot or command dot to just open the quick fix menu. And then I'm going to select extract a type alias. And you can see I've now extracted a new type alias. So I could say quick pick list. And I was able to just extract a reusable um, return type or a reusable type from that return type. Again, it's up to you whether or not you add explicit return types. But if you do need to add these explicit return types, this refactoring can really save you some time. So that's the add implicit function return type refactoring for TypeScript in VS Code.